The war against my sister has already begun. You can't expect us to halt hostilities and join you in fighting. Whatever you saw beyond the wall. You don't believe him. I understand that. It sounds like nonsense. But if destiny has brought the nearest Targaryen back to our shores, it has also made Jon Snow king in the north. You were the first to bring Dothraki to Westeros. He is the first to make allies of wildlings and northmen. He was named Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. He was named king in the north. Not because of his birthright. He has no birthright. He's a damn bastard. All those hard sons of bitches chose him as their leader because they believe in him. All those things you don't believe in, he faced those things. He fought those things for the good of his people. He risked his life for his people. He took a knife in the heart for his people. He gave his own li If we don't put aside our enmities and band together, we will die. And then it doesn't matter whose skeleton sits on the Iron Throne. If it doesn't matter, then you might as well kneel. Swear your allegiance to Queen Daenerys, help her to defeat my sister, and together our armies will protect the North. There's no time for that. There's no time for any of this. While we stand here debating... It takes no time to bend the knee. Pledge your sword to her cause. And why would I do that? I mean no offense, Your Grace, but I don't know you. As far as I can tell, your claim to the throne rests entirely on your father's name, and my own father fought to overthrow the Mad King. The Lords of the North placed their trust in me to lead them, and I will continue to do so as well as I can. That's fair. It's also fair to point out that I'm the rightful Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. By declaring yourself king of the northernmost kingdom, you are in open rebellion 